The overwhelming probability is that you already own a kettle of some description, arguably the most common of kitchen appliances. The kettle is almost a given, but everyone has their own preference and needs. Definitely the electric kettle is more common, but many of us prefer the more traditional stovetop kettle. With the increasing popularity of specialist coffee and tea, if you're looking for a new kettle choosing is harder than it's ever been. That's why we put together this video to help you choose one or the other. Should you go for a stovetop kettle or an electric one? The answer will depend on what you intend to use it for and your specific needs. Watch on and we'll tell you all you need to know so you can make an informed choice. It would seem at first that they have more in common than they have differences. Both are of course used to produce hot water and feature a spout through which the water can then be poured. But the fundamental difference is in the way that they heat water. The stovetop kettle for coffee, as per the name, requires an external source of heat to work. In 90% of situations, this is going to be the stovetop. Electric kettles, of course, require a mains connection to heat boiling water and require no external heat. The differences do not end there, however. Where stovetop kettles are great at producing a rolling boil and can actually heat water but boiling point, Electric kettles offer a whole range of different options which the stovetop kettle can't match. For example, many electric kettles offer a range of heat settings, meaning you have precision with your hot water. They feature water gauge, and they boil water much faster. Which is most appropriate for you depends a great deal on your tastes and what you intend to use the kettle for. If you're looking to buy pour over coffee kettle, you may find our video helpful. It's hard to say whether one is better than the other without bearing in mind why exactly you are boiling water. If you are in the market for a tea kettle, you will have completely different requirements to a pour over coffee aficionado. What works for one may not work for others. Stovetop kettles produce a rolling boil, which means they can be heated and kept at temperature, which can be useful when you're serving up coffee all day. They have the ability to heat water above boiling point which for making certain types of tea can be a major advantage. They are easy to take away traveling into nature, as they require no main supply to work simply put it on the campfire and voila, hot water. They contain no heating element, which if not properly maintained can be harmful to your health. They are easier to clean as there are no electronics and no heating element, meaning no hard to reach spots where limescale can accumulate doesn't have the same level of flexibility as an electric kettle, comparatively slow to heat, can only be used where there is an external heat source. Stovetop kettles certainly have their uses, and for many who like the hands-on feel as they boil water these are the way to go. They are not so good for specialist coffee however, as there are no temperature settings. Although you can remove from the heat and leave to sit for 30 secs, this is less than ideal for many baristas. Electric kettles have many advantages, especially for maker of pour-over coffee. Goose-necked electric kettles are increasingly common for this reason, as they offer greater precision in pouring and temperature control. Temperature control is important as boiling water is too hot for many brews. For example, the ideal temperature for pour-over is around 96 C, but for green tea around 70 C is ideal. Temperature control settings allow you to heat water to the exact temperature you desire, meaning you can use the kettle for a much wider range of tasks. Balls much faster than the traditional stovetop version can be used anywhere there is a mains connection. So great for hotel travel, more energy efficient. Can be harder to clean due to the heating element. See our post on how to clean your kettle for more information. It would seem at first that they have more in common than they have differences. Both are of course used to produce hot water and feature a spout through which the water can then be poured. But the fundamental difference is in the way that they heat water. The stovetop kettle for coffee, as per the name, requires an external source of heat to work. In 90% of situations, this is going to be the stovetop. Electric kettles, of course, require a mains connection to heat boiling water and require no external heat. The differences do not end there, however. Where stovetop kettles are great at producing a rolling boil and can actually heat water above boiling point, Electric kettles offer a whole range of different options which the stovetop kettle can't match. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.